and welcome back to South African Homesteader. I actually decided to make the building site a separate video, although it's all taken in the on the same day as the previous uh, two videos, which I've made into a part one and a part two. So this is a completely different video, but what I'm going to be doing is, this is about, we have started, I would say, um, with the brickwork about a week ago. The brickwork is, what when I speak about brickwork, it's coming from out of the foundation to floor level. So let's just, I'm going to spin you around and then we can see how far we are actually at this moment. So we've been building now for six days into the uh, brickwork. And here we go. So what we've done is we have now, we are starting to fill these, um, the trenches next to the, the, the brickwork. These are cavity walls. So this is your cavity. I don't know if you can see, maybe I must spin it around. But this is the one brick here. And this is the other one. This is your cavity. That needs to be um, filled. This has now been filled. This must still be leveled and compacted. So this is the one side. Um, this is also a weight bearing wall. So also you'll see the double walls there. Um, so let me go from where I would be standing in my bedroom. This would be my bedroom. And this is the one side of the U running up here. Then this is the one side. So they're starting, they still need to they still need to fall in on the sides here. They need to fall in. And then this would be where you would be crossing over onto the side and then this would be the living sort of area, the kitchen, the kitchen over the lounge area over the, um, I would have a pantry over the and then like a sort of dining room area there, cross over from here, there would be a door, you would cross over and then you would have another kitchen over here. I must come. Oh, oh, okay. I'll come to you now. I'll come to you now. Um, and then we will have a uh, sort of another lounge area, uh, kitchenette, another little pantry over there, and then down here there would be a passage, and you would have some more bedrooms in here, um, going down here. So that will be in the U coming like this, like that. This is how far we are. Okay, um, okay, Archie. I know what you're wanting to ask me. Where we are going to put, where we are going to put the two pillars, where they must dig down for the two pillars. So, because this is such a large area and this wall, there's no wall going across here, we have to put two pillars here. To bear the weight of the lintels, the uh, the piece of thingy coming up, I'm going to disconnect so that I can chat to Archie. Okay, so so what Archie's asking me is, we are, because we're going to be putting two pillars in here, he has just asked me where the where it's going to come. I have asked him to take the measurement from that corner to there, and oh, let me spin it around, then you can see. That measurement from that wall to there, one measurement in the middle, Archie, we're going to take from there to there, and then that measurement from there to there. They need to be the same so that we can get a straight line. So what measurement did you get down there? Hey? 6.2 6 correct that yes. was down there yes. and here you're also getting 6.2 yes. okay now now that is perfect so what we're gonna do is we now need to see what our what size lintels I want to put in here 
because we're going to put the, the lentils above. This is going to be open with the two pillars. Lentils is going to be the weight. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to see, okay, so if this, this measurement from here to there, I think it's in the region of 9.7. I think it's in the region of 9.7. Um, um, I speak under correction. Because I didn't, that brick wasn't in the last time when I took a measurement. So just see, might be a little bit more, might be... Might be a little bit more, actually, I think. Are you taking from the outside brick to the outside brick? Yeah. Okay. Did you do the same thing here? Ah, yes. Okay. Uh, 9.9. 9.9. Okay. Yeah, I, that would be 9.9 .9 because we took from inside skin to inside skin, so we got 9.7. 9.9. So, what we're going to do is... We're going to go at three, three meters from there, 3.5, uh, make it three meters, and then another three meters, or 3.3, go 3.3, go three meters 300 from there, Yeah, you you taking it from the wrong measurement, my friend. I don't know. Uh, no, but it needs to lie on this brick because remember, yeah. there we go. There we go, three meter three hundred. Yes, yes. Remember, so because correct. But your, your pillar is going to be a little bit bigger than that. So just just actually pack the brick in the pillar. Let me see. Okay, but then then take it from here. Take it from here because remember the one lintel is going to rest on here. The, the one lintel is going to rest on here. Other lintel is going to rest on here. So on here we have four lintels resting. Those two going that way, going that way, and then those two going that way. Yeah, we're gonna put some. We're gonna dig down. We're gonna put some. Um, I'm gonna put some Y16 in there. Seal. Now I need from. Now you can take again from here. And the center. Yeah. So. And the center is here. Yeah, from the center there. You take point three point three meter three hundred. But remember, Archie, that is incorrect because we're going to move this forward so that it falls, so that this line falls in the center. Okay, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, baby, yeah. There we go. 3.3. Yeah, now put it, put it here, put it here, so that. Is it 3.3? Okay, yeah. That's perfect. So you just need to put another one there. Actually, put another one here. Oh yeah, what size? I just want to see the size of the lentils. You just check that these lentil sizes is going to be the same because I want to order three of the same size lentils. So two days ago we threw concrete in the, um, they dug the holes for the pillars and they threw the concrete and they are now um, building up the pillars to floor height. They've also put in the 16Y steel and um, in the center of each pillar for strength and weight bearing. All the um, cavities have been filled with concrete. Uh, yeah, you can 
see the cavity in between the two bricks was full of concrete that was really good solid Rechum. Backfilling is it's kind of there, we're leaving this backfilling open so that the inspector can check. Even the, the middle uh, weight bearing walls here, they've all been concreted. So, yeah, the guys will be back Mexico Monday. Uh, we'll compact this whole area. You get the compactor and compact it. Yeah. What was it? I'm standing. Right in front is my room, your mommy's room, and then there's another room, uh, a dressing room, bathroom, another room, another room, and then the bathroom here, and another room here. Then you have pantry and kitchen, lounge area, then you have that side the room, bathroom, room. Bad gaan in sit, nee. Ja, we'll see. A lot of work, young. But uh, a month of building, the way they building now, one month of building, then the building can be up. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. We have made some progress. Uh, the reason we have measured out now for those two pillars is because there's a wall that is not going straight through from the passage on the one side uh, because we want to keep that that area is, 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 is quite big so we are going to be putting lintels and instead of putting one very long lintel having one very long lintel manufactured I just feel safer to break it up and we are therefore building two pillars in um, that area there and then just putting in shorter lintels which will make me feel a lot comfortable a lot more comfortable and safe so um, I hope you enjoyed today's video and I hope to catch you in the next one so from me Haria at South African Homesteader until next time